Japanese, the title of the video is How to Make Candlestick Patterns Work Harder for You as a Swing Trader. Are you a swing trader? Do you use a candlestick pattern? Do you want your candlestick pattern uh, to work for you harder than before? All right, my friend, you are the right place and also at the right time. Let's begin the demonstration, my friend. All right, so very often technical traders, swing traders, love to use a candlestick pattern. So if you are swing trading and you have not yet mastered uh, the candlestick pattern, I highly recommend to you to check out uh, the playlist about the candlestick pattern at Day Pro Traders YouTube channel and also at the 24 Stock Trader YouTube channel. Digit 2, Digit 4 Stock Trader YouTube channel and also Day Pro Traders YouTube channel. Check the playlist relating to candlestick pattern. Watch all the videos so you may understand or master the candlestick pattern if you want to use a candlestick pattern as a swing trader. All right? But today, what we are about to talk about is about okay how to make those candlestick patterns uh, to work for you uh, harder than before. All right? So, without too much blah 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 for my side, my friend, all right, the first thing that you need to do is to be very, very patient. What we have noticed is that a lot of traders that use candlestick pattern are sometimes very, very impatient. So, the pattern is not set nicely so to speak is not cooked so to speak is not ready then people will start okay using that uh, candlestick pattern and they will quickly lose and i will show you now on this chart what has happened recently uh, for traders that were using a specific uh, candlestick pattern so the first thing that you need to do wait for the candlestick pattern to set those candlestick bar must close if you are using the candlestick pattern on the monthly chart. Those candlestick pattern, those candlestick bar must close. Wait for it to set nicely, completely done, and dust it. All right, that's the first step. All right, to make those candlestick pattern work for you. Under. What once the candlestick pattern is set nicely, all right, the next thing that you need to do is to use different time frame trading method. So you may see, George, you said this before, I know about it, show me more, all right? So what we're going to do now, uh, this is on the monthly chart, all right? Uh, here we are. So we see here uh, that uh, the, the, this is candlestick bar pattern, this is an inverted hammer, all right? And uh, it's a bearish candlestick pattern. So it's an inverted hammer that was also a bearish candlestick bar. So it's not, okay, an inverted bullish candlestick pattern. Uh, this is not an inverted bullish uh, hammer. This is an inverted bearish hammer. I'm talking about this one here on the monthly chart. All right. So we will wait for that candlestick kind of bar to close. All right. This was happening in the month of June. All right. So the next thing that you want to check is that when you see a bearish candlestick kind of pattern, as I told traders in those videos that I have already posted. On our channels, all right. I told you that when you see a bearish candlestick pattern, or when you hear the word pattern, uh, you want to think of location. So bearish candlestick pattern must take place, all right, at a resistance level, at a bullish profit target level. So in this case, without too much blah blah blah, all right, I've done my homework. I want to show you now what has happened recently here. So you see the price uh, went up. Okay, my point is to trade it. I don't want to remove all my lines, so I'll remove some of them right? because I need them on my chart. Okay, so traders that have been following us know me very well that I have always lines on my chart like this, so they can forgive me for that. All right, so for new traders, my apology for that. Okay, so here we are. So the price went up from here for, for point A to point B. All right, so how do we set target for a bullish move like this? We can use either the magnitude, you should know this already if you have been following us, magnitude from the high to the low, and we project it well, all right? Okay, we can put some trader will project it at the top like this, all right? So if I project it at the top of the, this high, so move from here to 
hypothécaire, mais que pour dire qui en restant dans son trait de mes petites années. Ok, donc si il pull back and turn around, son trait de mes petites hier. Alright, so if you put it here, you will see your target is somewhere in the zone of a two, three, nine, nine, five. Okay, if you put it uh, on top of this high here, your target is also somewhere here. It's not far. It's the same zone. Yes or no? Do you agree? If you disagree, let us know. Alright. Here it is. So this is the target. If you put it here, your target is here. All right. So we are in the same zone, almost same zone. All right. So if you put it down, okay. So pull back. Trend is broken. You set it there. Okay. If you put it somewhere here, because of the tail here, you will be somewhere here. So it's same zone. So what I'm, the point I'm making here, we have an inverted bearish uh, hammer at a profit target level. This is a bearish trading setup, all right? So now, how do you make that specific bearish okay, candlestick pattern work harder for you, all right? So you wait for that monthly candlestick bar to close. Quickly, you are very patient, all right? You allow it, you allow it to set nicely before you will implement a top down to the middle. So now, because we are a monthly chart, you are swing trading, you understand a different time frame to the middle, so you will use the monthly chart for your trading setup, the daily chart for your signal, and the hourly time frame for the entry. So let's go now to the daily chart, and you will see what has happened there. Uh, traded some traded did not handle it properly. So what was happening? We were, this is I was telling you it's the month of June. Yes or no? This is the month of June. This session here. This is the month of June. All right. So what was happening here? You can see that on the daily chart. This uh, section here, you see the common set line here is kaput. This one here, this price was going up. The price break below it and we're retesting here. So a lot of uh, candlestick pattern trader who did not wait for that candlestick bar to set did enter their trade here. All right? They did enter their trade here because it's a signal though. It's a bearish signal on the daily chart. If I break below that common set line, he retested here. But I can understand what's going through the mind of trader at this point in time. They showed it here, all right? This is a signal on the daily chart. So break below, retest, and this common settle is kaput, all right? They showed it down, all right? It's good, all right? But the mistake that they make, so but if those traders manage their trade carefully, they can come out nicely because if you are selling, all right, you sell, the signal is final, while you are bearish, the price is looking for a better support level. So you can see that as the price came down, you reach the support level, people came out and the price bounced up. So if you manage it carefully, that's okay. But the point I'm making here about the candlestick pattern working harder for you is that you want to wait for it to set. So that monthly candlestick bar, that bearish inverted hammer on the monthly chart is not set at this point in time. It was set at the end of the month of June here. Yeah. All right? So if you did wait, all right, if you were patient and wait for it to set nicely for you, at that point in time, at the end of the month for you, you'll come here. And now you will be waiting for your signal. So far, uh, if you waited until it set nicely here, all right, let's see if there is a new signal now after it's set. There was no signal, my friend. There was no signal because if you draw uh, this uh, trail line like this, you see this trail line we're drawing on a daily chart. You can see that if you waited, you see that the prior or the prior day, the prior break below that new trail line. So we will be saying, okay, it break below it now. Probably you will find a resistance here. All right, we'll be thinking that all right, probably you will find a resistance here. But it didn't. <laughs> Why it did, it break above that trade line and find a support again and run away. Now you see the mistake that they have made. So first thing, wait for those candlestick, the candlestick pattern to set nicely. Be very patient. And when it set, come back and try to implement a top-down trading method. All right? But you can see that in the month of June, what has happened also, you should buy here. Why, why you should look for an opportunity to buy here? Because the minimum price move is free. So here it is. If I came down one, two, 
3. So you will draw your line here, so you know MC is also corresponding to this support level. So if you have been following us, you will understand we talk about minimum price point 3. You will see on a daily chart that we have minimum price point 3. So you will see priority to bullish signal above the level of 227, which is 1, 2, 3. We draw the line, priority to bullish signal above 227, and priority to bearish signal below. Yes or no? And here it is, it is finally support and went up. So, but let's go back again so you can see, wait for it to set first and implement a top-down trading method okay, to trade it. I'm going to go back again to the monthly chart because uh, I want traders uh, to be able okay, to use the candlestick kind of bar like a pro, be very patient, that's the first step, wait for it to set nicely and then implement a top-down trading method. So let's go back again and look at it, all right? Are you a swing trader? Do you use candlestick pattern? So let's go back again. Now that candlestick kind of bar, what is it telling us? Is at a profit level, all right? It's good. So it's a bearish tendency a pattern at a profit level, all right? So bullish trader that are swing trader that were buying before know the target is here. Some of them are coming out here. So now, if you were patient so far, you have jumped into the trade like those traders. You will wait. Now it's still in place, though. That is, that setup is still in place. It's not finished yet. That's why you can see that uh, some people are still selling this zone. Why I say it's still in place? Because, all right, the inverted bearish hammer is alert enough that there are orders here to sell. <laughs> all right, orders here to sell. But you look at the following can see that because of the minimum price move is free, the price for the support and bounce up. So we need to wait. So we can still put this stock on our bullish watch list, our bearish watch list, and keep our eyes on it, as I did on the daily chart. Let's go back again. All right. If now, you see, it formed now. Look at it. It formed a double top all right. on the daily chart now. Okay, on the daily chart. But it's hanging there. All right. Some trader can be a little bit patient. We can be more patient, just be more patient for the signal for the signal also to set nicely for you. Right. This is finally the support here. Some people bought it here before because of the support in this zone of two, 227. So what you can do, you can be okay forming a bearish chart pattern now. Okay. Break below that trend line. All right. We will prefer it completely. All right. If you break that below that trend line and we test it on the edge. All right. We want it, you don't want it to do something that you want it to go away from the, the trend line, come down like it did here, go away from it and retest it like this and the final resistance. That's what you will be looking for. So you will put it on your bearish watch list and wait for it until it's set nicely. Now at this point in time, there are some uh, swing traders selling now here, but I will say. If you want to implement a top-down trading method, different time frame trading method, just be very patient because you are not alone. Just understand that a lot of traders, professional traders, are, take some time watching stocks. So they are all patient waiting for it to set nicely. So you are not alone. So you just put it on your bearish watch list and be very, very patient. Be agile like a cat. Wait for the signal to set nicely. All right? Once it's set nicely, sometimes you see that you see that it's from a double top, people are trying to force it. Sometimes you may think you may miss some opportunity because the price may run fast down, but sometimes you see the price will do something very nice. Okay, you do something really, really nice, it will just go down, right? Go down, okay, like this a bit, and then we'll go up again and form a lower high. All right, that's a beautiful one, is it? So we have a very chart pattern. Followed by a lower high, that's a high probability trading setup. So just because you are a little bit more patient than other traders, so they will, these people maybe they will sell it down below the trend line. And you say, all right, let's see what's going to happen. Instead of retesting the trend line, the price may form a lower high, and you wait for this common setting is kaput. Once it's kaput, now you go to your hourly time frame to enter the trade. So you say to me, George, I will never enter the trade on the hourly time frame. So break it down to the time minute time frame. All right, break it down to a 10 minute time frame. But personally, what I recommend to traders, all right, okay, if you if you can manage to train yourself to 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 to, to, to master the top down trading method, that will help you. Break it down from the a monthly chart, okay, daily chart, hourly time frame, 10 minute time frame, and you enter the trade gently 
on the edge. Remember what I said to you before, always enter the trade at a hot spot trading zone and on the edge. The risk will be low and you will be taking more high probability trading setup on the edge and at a hot spot trading zone. Those are the areas where you want to trade, all right? So you see now, so wait for it to set nicely and then implement a top-down trading method. Whether you are a monthly chart, weekly chart, if you are using weekly chart, you wait for it to set nicely on the weekly chart, all right? And then you go to the, either to the two-hour time frame, four-hour time frame, waiting for the signal to set nicely, very patiently, and then you go to your 15-minute time frame to enter the trade if you are using the, the weekly chart for swing trading. Swing traders, most swing traders use a daily chart, but professional swing traders use more weekly chart than a daily chart. I need to mention that to traders. Professional swing traders use more the weekly chart than the daily chart. But if you want to to improve your swing trading, use the use more the monthly chart. Look for your swing trading setup on the monthly chart. I talk about one before, which I use myself. Double top, double bottom on a monthly chart. Those are powerful swing trading setup. All right. Okay. So this is just uh, a short tutorial to highlight. Okay. One of the mistakes that traders are making when they are using a candle stick pattern. Bearish candlestick pattern, either at a profit target or at a resistance level. Anytime you hear the word pattern, think of location. Bullish chart pattern must be at a key support level or at a, a bearish target zone. All right? so, see here, here it is, you see this is here. Yeah. So those, see, there was a torque and the C bar, right? From this level of 120, it went to 148. So people start selling, okay? So for one reason, another people start selling. Now, price is coming down to a support level. See here, there was a support here, you see here? Price changing direction here. It pulled back with two candles bar, and then boom, up. Now, again, here, there was another, you see this one? Do you know this pattern? You see this torque and the C bar, a pullback near the median line, you see here? Pull back onto the median line of the long candle C bar. Okay? Then today implement a top down trading metal to trade it. You see here, this was up here, boom, up. They all came out, all right? Okay, they all came out. All right, they all came out here. And now it's coming back. So now this this one you know it, okay? The pin, okay? The pin, the doji with a long tail piercing a key level is also uh, a candlestick pattern. Wait for it to set and implement a top down trading tool. If the signal fail, come out. The reason why you need to come out is because, okay, sometimes signal do fail for different reasons. Just come out. The strategy is to cut losses because you know how to implement a top down trading metal. You don't want to increase your losses. There will be losing trade, but you don't want to have too many losing trade or bigger losing trade. So whenever the signal fail, just cut it because you are able to find another opportunity and trade it more okay, successfully. You keep doing that, you will see that okay, your swing trading will start improving. Have I been talking too much today, my friend? Let's see how long. All right, let's wrap it up, almost 20 minutes, all right? So, how to make candlestick pattern work harder for you, all right, as a swing trader. Wait for the candlestick bar to set. All candlestick bar must glow. Be very patient, all right? Breathe in, breathe out. Now implement a top-down trading method. When you are applying, when you are using one strategy, don't forget anything else. Like you apply top down, don't forget minimum price move. Be multi-talented trader. As always, you learn something new for the first time. Okay. Uh, practice, practice, practice until you master it. Right? If you have any question or suggestion, put in the comment section in the course. I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. Happy to to you all and I'll speak to you soon.